Hello and welcome to this video on the Rester Test Channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at testing Kafka. You might ask yourself, what is Kafka? Well, firstly, Kafka is not this. I'm not referring to the writer Kafka. I'm referring to this Kafka right here. And if you had to work with Kafka, um, and you might have been confused, you need to know that Kafka is just an open source distributed event streaming platform. Now, this might seem easy, this might seem hard to understand, but the question still remains, what or how do we test Kafka? Well, the answer is actually reduced to five simple parts. You need to understand what a broker is, what are topics and partitions, what's a record, what does it mean to produce and what does it mean to consume? So what is a broker? Well, a broker in Kafka is the Kafka server. The broker allows the producers to send messages and to consume messages by topic and by partition. But what are topics and partitions? Kafka topics are divided into a number of partitions. The partitions allow you to have um, to parallelize a topic by splitting the data in a particular topic across multiple brokers. And you might ask yourself, okay, how is this data split? Or what is data? What do I mean by data? Well, when I refer to data, I refer to records. And what are records? Records, a record is a message, a message which can be written or fetched from a topic. A record can be in various formats. It can be in JSON, it can be CSV, and many, many, many other formats. And they are represented, as you can see on the screen, by key value pairs. In this case, we have the key of video, and the value of like. By the way, you can do that. You can like the video at this point if you haven't done it already. Now, besides records, we need to understand the idea of a producer. And when I refer to, or when you hear the word producer or to produce in Kafka, it simply means writing one or more records. So this key value pair to a specific product. For example, in this case, we wrote um, a message with the key video and the value subscribe. Now, the producer, as the producer is used to writing records, on the other hand, we have the idea of a consumer or to consume. To consume simply means fetching one or more records. So these key value pairs, as you can see, we have again, video and subscribe from one or more topic and basically checking if we have the same record as it was produced. So did I make things more complicated or did you understand a little bit more about what you can test or a couple of tests which you should do or which you can do uh, when dealing with Kafka? To sum up, or to guarantee that we understood what, what I was trying to say is, in simple terms, I would say we can um, split the checks that you can do for Kafka in the following. So whether we have successfully produced, so written a particular record, and whether we have consumed that record, and if the numbers of records that have been produced match the numbers that have been consumed. So if, if everything matches in the end, in the specific topic. Now, this are, or this was only an intro to, let's say, stop the stress of testing Kafka, or stop the stress that you might have when hearing the word Kafka. It's not that complicated. You just have to start. I hope you understood a little bit more the concepts. 
If you don't, you can review the parts of the video. As always, thank you for watching the video. Do not forget to rest and then test. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.